Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, and we are going to start part three today with the uh, bed doll, with our lacy bed doll dress. So I'm just going to get right into it. What we're going to do today is we are going to add a little flap. You can see I have my dress on my doll. We're going to add a little flap right here, because what we're going to do is we're going to sew our buttons down this side of the dress. Well. If we did that, the dress won't close, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little flap right here so we can use our buttons to, on that little flap, okay? And then the back of the dress will be closed. All right, so I am going to get myself situated, get my camera adjusted, and we will get started. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've got my camera adjusted. I have the back of the dress facing up. So here's the back of the dress facing up. I'm going to rotate it so that the, this is the left side is facing me and we're going to attach into this, uh, what is this orchid? Yeah. I about said lilac orchid. And we're going to work a couple rows of half double crochet. And the reason for half double crochet is because we don't have to have buttonholes with half doubles. Um, we can just use the space between the stitches. So I'm going to get my crochet hook. I'm going to get my yarn. I'm going to get a slip knot on my hook and make sure you have enough tail so we can weave that in. I'm so excited to get this done. I'm not kidding guys. It has taken me, it has taken me, oh geez, over a month to film this to film this dress. All right, so I'm gonna come down here and you can see right there, there's a double crochet right there. I'm just gonna insert my hook right through the post of that double, get a slip stitch, chain one, pull that tail down, I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna go right back in where I, I went through that post of that double and no, I'm not. I'm going to yarn over and go back in there and work a half double. And I'm just going to evenly space out half doubles until I get to that white neck edge. So I have one, I'm going to go back in there, down the po that post a little bit, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. I'm going to stop and make sure I'm not bunching them up. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, add one more right there, twenty. Okay, that doesn't look too bunched. Some of those I went through the spaces which I didn't mean, I didn't, oh, like, it's not a big deal, it doesn't leave a big old hole. Okay, so that was row one. I'm going to chain one and turn. And now I'm just going to half double crochet into each half double. All right, I'm not going to make you guys watch me. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I made it to the end. I've got one more to go into. And there is that. Let me see. I'm actually gonna stop here and I'm gonna put it 
my dress on my doll and I'm gonna see how that looks now depending on your guys' tension you may need to add another row or maybe one row would have been enough oh, come on get in there I just seen she's got blue on her finger. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get this on her. Now, it helps if you put your doll's arms up like this. Basically, what that does is keep the, um, the sleeve up to where we want it. So now, I am just going to bring this together. See... All right, I am actually gonna do another row. I realize down here it'll be all right, but up here it's still a little, well, maybe not. It'll, I think it'll work. So if I hold it right here. Get her laid out. I think, yeah, it'll work. I'm going to go ahead and stop there with my two rows. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'm going to stop there. All right. So where did my hook go? Okay. So I am going to chain one, pull up the loop, and cut. All right, I'll weave those ends in later. So I'm going to turn this, and I'm going to go ahead and start sewing on my buttons. And you guys can do like you don't you don't even have to do these buttons for closing the back of it. You could just attach a strand of yarn, chain a few, and uh, use ties to tie the back. It really doesn't matter. The ties would probably have been a better idea though because you could um, get it off easier and it'd been quicker. Okay, so all I've done is just pulled out a, a strand of thread thread my needle get my ends together and tie it in a knot I lost it Now I'm just going to hold that knot and do it, tie it again. Hold on to it. All right, one more. Hold it. Well, I'm going to go again. think that's good now I'm gonna start with this first button up closer to the um, that neckline right there so I'm just gonna go into the back My button or that knot is thick enough it's not coming through my crochet so I'm gonna come across into this hole and I'm by no means am I an expert at sewing a button. I'm just doing it. Fake it till I make it. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna come over here. There. All right, so I'm just gonna repeat that again. And I am definitely not gonna make you guys watch me sew all these buttons on. Got a hair. 
making sure I'm keeping this tail out of the way. I think the major thing with sewing a button on to crochet is to make sure your knot cannot, to make sure your knot will not come through your work and then out your button. I can't find, I got a little strand right there. There it is. Try to catch that strand and pull it down. So basically, I, I should have said this, what I'm doing is crisscrossing over the four holes on my button. And like I said at the beginning, you don't have to have these buttons. You can use whatever button you want to. Okay, so I'm going to call that good. Cut my needle off. And then I'm just going to tie these two ends in a knot several times. And then snip. Okay, so now when I bring my row of half doubles over, I can just run that button oop, through the half doubles, just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm gonna sew on, excuse me, sew on these other two buttons. I'm gonna space them out, just like that. All right, I'm gonna get these sewn on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got these three buttons sewn on and then I have the back of the dress closed up. So now I'm gonna weave in these ends. Uh, and then we are going to do, the dress is done now. Uh, well, besides the little decorating pieces we can add, decorative pieces I should say, but after this, all we have to do is a little hat and we are done. And I'm so excited to have this tutorial done. It's like I told you guys, it's been over a month that it's taken me to do this. Sorry for the silence. <laughs> My mind is running and I'm thinking of everything. As I notice, I'm not 100% happy with how gappy this part is right here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna tie ribbon around her waist, but I don't want white and I don't know if I have the ribbon that would match the, the orchid. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to set this to the side and we are going to start with our hat. So I got my six millimeter hook and I want to start with my orchid. And we are going to chain 15. You know what, I'm gonna bring you guys in. All right. So 
So get a slip knot. Make sure you get enough tail to weave that in. And we are going to chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're going to bring this down, bring that chain around, just like this, and we're going to slip stitch into that first chain to form a ring. And our tail is to the inside. All right, so we are going to chain one and we're going to work two double crochet into that chain that we slip stitched into. So that hole right there, we're going to work two doubles. One, two. Now we're going to work one double into the next chain. Two double into the next, one double into the next, and we are going to repeat that around. Two double into the next chain, one into the next, two double one, two double one. Repeat that around, and I'm going to work mine off camera, and I'm going to come back when I get make it back to where I started. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm coming around and I have, you can see right, right here, there's my very last chain. And that one is going to get two double. And now we should have 23 double crochet all the way around. Okay. We are going to slip stitch to that first double. We're going to chain one and into that very, well for round two, into that very first double crochet we just slip stitched into right there, we're going to work two double. Let's go right back in there. One, two double. And we are basically going to repeat what we just did. We're going to work an increase, or um, a two double, which is the increase, and then double into the next. Two double into the next. Double into the next. All right, repeat that around. I'm going to get mine done off camera and I'll come back when I make it all the way around. Okay, so I've come around and I have one more right there, one more double crochet, and that one gets my two doubles. And now we should have 35 double crochet. Okay, so now we are going to slip stitch to that very first double right there. To end round two, and now we're going to start round three. And that is chain one, and we're going to double crochet right back into the double that we just slip stitched into. So go right back in there with a double, and we're going to chain one. Skip the next double into that next double with a double. Chain one. Skip the next double, double into the next double. Chain one. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way around. Now after round three, the, this round, what's going to happen is it's going to start to look like a bowl. It's going to want to set like this, okay? So go ahead and finish that all the way around. We just chain one, so skip, double, 
into the next, chain one, skip, double into the next, chain one, skip, double into the next. Repeat that all the way around and I will meet you when I get, make it all the way around. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've made it to the end and I have two doubles left. I have my double chain one, skip this one and I double crochet into that very last double crochet. And now chain one and we slip stitch to our first double which is sitting like this. If you turn it just a little bit right there's the top. Slip stitch into that double and chain one. All right, so now for round four, we are going to single crochet right back into that double crochet that we slip stitched into. So go right back in there with a single. And then we're gonna single in that chain one space. And then we're gonna single into the top of that double. Single in that chain one space. Single in the top of that double single and chain one space, top of the double. All right, and that's all you're gonna do. Single crochet all the way around and I will meet you back at the beginning. Okay, so I've made it all the way around. <clears throat> I singled into that last double and I need to single into this chain space. All right, now I'm gonna slip stitch to that very first single crochet and if you look, there's our little slip stitch right there. If I scooch that down, right there's that little chain one, and here is our first single crochet. And that is what we slip stitch into. Right like that. All right. Now for round five, we are going to chain one and we're gonna single crochet right back in there. And if you get a little, give it a little bit of a tug, you can tell where we work that slip stitch kind of stretches it a bit. Right in there is where we need to work our single. Okay, now we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we are going to single right back, or right into the next single crochet. Chain five. Two, three, four. Ah. Chain five, single into the next single. Chain five. Three, four, five. Single into that next single. And that is what we are going to repeat all the way around. Single, chain five, single. Chain five, single. Chain five, single. Chain five, single. All the way around. I'm gonna work mine off camera and I will, something's pecking at the window behind me, and I will come back when I make it to the end, okay? I'll be right back. All right, so I've made it around and I've got, if you can see, there is my last single, there is my slip stitch right there there, right here is my little chain one, and there's my first single. So I've got my single right here, chain five, come down, and I'm gonna single into this last single right here. I'm gonna chain five, two, three, four, five, come down and slip stitch to that first single. Oh, I messed that up. There we go. Now I'm going to slip stitch into this chain five loop, chain one, and for round six, I'm going to single crochet right back into the same chain that we just slip stitched into. And now we chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet into that next chain five loop, chain six two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet into that next chain five loop. Chain six. Three, four, five, six. Single into the next chain five loop. Chain six. Three, four, five, six. 
and we are just going to repeat that around. Now, if you want, I I prefer to. I like marking that first chain space. With a stitch marker, so that way I don't go past it. Okay, so that's what we're going to repeat for round six. Chain six, single into the chain five. Chain six, single into the next chain five. Chain six, single into the next chain five. Repeat that all the way, ar way around, and I will meet you whenever I've made it all the way around. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've made it around. And to that last chain five, I just worked my single. So I'm going to chain six, two, three, four, five, six. And now right into that chain six that I have marked, I am going to slip stitch and chain one. All right, now for round seven, we are going to single crochet right back into the chain six that you just slip stitched to. And we are going to chain six. Three, four, five, six. Single crochet into that next chain six. I'm going to move up my stitch marker to the chain we just made. And we're going to repeat that again. Chain six, single, chain six, single, chain six, single, all the way around, all right? And I will meet you when I have finished. Well, not finished, but just about finished the round. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have singled into my last chain six from round six. I'm going to chain six. For Pete's sake. Three, four, five, six. And I'm going to come down and slip stitch into the first chain six of round seven that I have marked with my marker there. And I'm just going to slip stitch, chain one, pull up a loop, and cut. All right, one more round and this hat is done. So for round eight, I am going to get my white. I have a big old mess here. Basically what we're going to do is the round of white that we're getting ready to work is the same round of white that we worked on the, the last round of the lace little ruffles. Alright, I'm going to get this area cleaned up just a little bit and I'm going to come right back. Okay, so now I've got my area all cleaned up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my white and with a long enough tail, I'm going to get a slip knot on my hook. And I'm just going to attach right back into the slip stitch I have marked. I mean, it doesn't matter. You don't have to go there. I'm just going to go right in there with the slip stitch. Chain one. And we're going to single crochet right in back into it. And just like we did for the white round of our ruffle, we're going to chain five, three, four, five, come right back in there with a single. I'm going to back you guys out just a little. All right, so we have the single, chain five, single, and now to jump to this next chain six, we're gonna chain three. Jump over and into the chain six, work a single, chain five, and a single. And now to get to our next chain space, we're gonna chain three. Jump over with a single, chain five, and a single. Chain three to get to your next chain space. And into your next chain space, single, 
chain five, and single. Chain three to get to your next chain space. And that is what we are going to repeat all the way around. And don't forget, kind of slide your single crochets so they're on each side of your chain five or chain six, okay? On camera. Sorry. God. <laughs> slide your singles over so that your chain five has a single chain or this chain six has a, a single chain five single. Chain three, jump to your next chain six space. Single, chain five, single. Chain three, jump to your next chain space, okay? Repeat that all the way around and I will meet you when we get, when I get back to the beginning, okay? So I will be right back. Okay, I am back and into that last chain six, I have my single, chain five, single. So I am going to chain three and I'm gonna slip stitch to that very first single crochet. So if I hold it real close, right there, that's the uh, slip stitch. Right there's the chain one, and right there, right there, is uh, my first single. So I'm gonna slip stitch right in there. Chain one, pull up a loop, and cut. And we are done with our hat. So I am going to weave in all my ends of my hat here. I'm gonna do that off camera. And when I come back, I'm gonna have the hat on my doll and I'm also gonna have some little things that I'm gonna uh, decorate or dress with, which could just be ribbon or bows or I don't know yet, I haven't decided. So I'm gonna stop here, weave in my ends, and when I come back, I'm gonna have her all set up, okay? So I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, and I did find this ribbon in my stash, and it matches her dress, the orchid of her dress pretty good, so I'm just gonna tie a little bow around her waist. Um. I was going to do something more with her hat, but I changed my mind. I don't want to. Um, I do have her hat kind of sitting a little off to the side on the top of her head like this instead of like, you know, like that would be on top of her head. So it's a little off to the side. Um, that's how I kind of like it better. Now, I do want to tell you guys, I'll put a link in the description box. Let me write it down. Link. Second. Bed doll. Or hat. I do have a second bed doll and she has a different hat. She has a solid hat. So if you guys would rather that hat over this one, I would totally understand. I, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I just wanted to incorporate the um, chain lace on the hat and I'm kind of eh about it. I mean, it's not a huge deal. I like it. I just, I think I probably would have liked the solid hat, like do the solid hat all in purple and then a, a round of white around the edge of it. I don't know. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description box if you guys want to uh, make that hat instead for this doll. Um, but that's it. I'm, I'm just going to tie a little ribbon around her waist. I'm going to do that off camera because I have you guys so far back. I would have to show everything from of me putting the bow on her and <laughs> I don't want to do that today. Okay. So I'm just going to end the video. Um, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial for our bed doll here. I'm super proud of her and I tried as much as I could to make her match the toilet paper Barbie doll dress cover that I did just like this. Uh, check out my videos. If you go to my channel and go to videos and you'll find my Barbie dresses. But anyway, Thank you guys so very much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. You guys are all the greatest. If I could hug all of you one at a time, I would line everybody up and just give everybody a hug. COVID free and all that. <laughs> all right. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Check out my description box because I'm going to have the links to um, the bed doll 
my first bed doll, and then I'm gonna have links to my Facebook group, my Instagram, my Twitter. Follow me on all those. All those. Join my Facebook group, and if you make this, tag me in it so I can see it because I bet you guys are gonna come up with some pretty beautiful stuff. And I don't want to forget anything. I think that's it. That is it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.